this is an AC service pack, and today what we're looking at is recovering the refrigerant out of a 410i unit. All right, we have both of our hoses attached, our blue hose attached to the suction line and our liquid line attached to uh, the small small line, which is the liquid, at the high side. All right, uh, we have our vapor side open. We have our vapor side on the tank open. We are pouring refrigerant into the recovery tank. All right, when we attach the gauges and hoses, we attach everything all the way up to the tank. And then we open, um, open here on our uh, gauge manifold set. All right, and then we purge the air out right at this hose right here. After that, just to make sure it's fully refrigerant going into this tank, then we open the tank up. All right, some of the pressure went into the tank already because it was at lower pressure than what the system was at. Um, but then after that, we had to turn the self-contained recovery unit on and start pumping it down. All right, what we have here is a yellow service hose. It goes from the gauge manifold from here and it actually goes to the end. It goes through a filter dryer and then to a second hose and then it goes to the end, which is located right here. All right, and then where it comes out, it comes through this hose right here and goes to the tank. So the gauge in the left is where it's sucking in. The gauge in the right is, uh, is what the pressure is while it's pumping it into this tank right here. We're gonna have to give it a little time uh, in order to pull it down we want to go down to 10 inch HG. I think we're going to go down to 15 inch HG and just see what happens, let it rise and uh, see how far it goes. Hopefully it doesn't go very far. Hopefully it still stays around 10 inch HG. All right, so as far as this tank goes, you have to actually weigh the tank tear weight uh, plus so the empty, empty tank actually weighs on this one, it says TW and it's actually about 28 pounds. 28 pounds plus the refrigerant inside. This is the 50 pound reco uh, recovery bottle. So you can actually only fill it up 40% of the way, which is 40 pounds. So you can fill it up to say 40 pounds, but we're just gonna stay safe and fill up to 38 pounds. So 38 plus 28 of a tear weight equals uh, 66. So we're gonna fill up to 66 pounds. So you do not zero the, you zero the scale out before you put the recovery bottle on, all right? So this weight is actually weighing the refrigerant plus the bottle weight. So we can actually put another 19, 19 and a half pounds in there. All right, so we're gonna let this get down and, and take its time sucking down. All right, we're continuing to drop. We're at 25 over here. We're at about 46 over here. And we'll continue at it. All right, guys, hope you enjoy yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.